Welcome everyone. Today I'm doing some cleaning up in the studio and painting a new piece that's going on display at one of the places I show at in my area. If you want to relax and wind down from the day, stay and watch me paint. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification for more art studio content coming soon. Today I'll be painting a Kobe Bryant tribute painting that was requested by a handful of people since his passing. And obviously I did not take this photo. I attempted to make some changes to the piece and focus on his jersey as the focal point. I certainly give full credit and rights to whomever took the photo and am in no way trying to steal someone's artwork. For this piece, I'm using heavy body acrylics and I use a retarder to help slow down the drying process of the paint as well as just keeping a water bottle, spray bottle handy while I'm painting and also to spray the palette in between sessions. Ever since I started using oils, I realized how tricky it can be to keep your acrylics really workable. Of course, people that primarily use acrylics, I'm sure you have your tricks, but for me, I just stick with the retarder and the spray bottle. I also use a limited color palette. You can check back later for some more videos about how I mix my colors using just the primaries and just uh, brown and white. I've found that if you're painting anything organic, natural, kind of earthly content, humans, animals, flowers, things like that, these colors are going to work for you. Um, occasionally you'll come across a flower or something that has a very, very vibrant pigment and then you'll need something else, but for the most part, these five colors work really well. been painting for about seven years now. I first started out using acrylics and I unintentionally ended up kind of niching down to a lot of fan art, celebrities, musicians, just because if I did one then I ended up getting commissioned to do another and so on. What ended up happening was I kind of lost interest in painting subject matters that I just wasn't connected to and quite frankly really didn't want to paint anymore. As of late, I've really tried to focus on saying no to things that I didn't want to do and I encourage all of you artists to do the same. I know that's easier said than done when, you know, you're being offered money and of course who would want to turn it up, but it's important to stay true to what you want to do and what you want to represent as an artist. I started using oils and studying oils as a way to kind of branch out of what I'm kind of used to doing and what people know me for painting and I'm really enjoying that process.
If you're interested in learning more about my art career and what I've done so far, definitely leave a comment down below and let me know what your questions are and check back for a video soon.